Hi guys, this is Marie with Thankful to Live and um, I haven't talked to a lot of you about my health lately and I know that many of my subscribers on YouTube are here because we have our health issues in common. Um, as many of you know, I deal with um, some health issues uh, including Sjogren's Syndrome. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis, chronic fatigue, and fibromyalgia, uh, just to name a few. And um, so for many years, I've been working on improving my health in a natural way um, because I have been prescribed many uh, pharmaceuticals that have been giving me side effects. So I've been on this search to healing and um, one of the things that I did originally when I first found out about my conditions was I started to reduce my sugar intake. And, um, you know, the more I look at other people and how they've uh, recovered or they've um, managed to help their condition improve, is that it's a combination of many things. When you have autoimmune diseases, or any disease for that matter, you have to find a balance in your mind, your body, and your spirit. And a lot of your healing comes from uh, it decreasing your stress levels. And, um, and that comes from learning to live doing what you love. And also surrounding yourself with people that give you that sense of peace and that sense of support. Um, so that's one of the things that I've been working on very hard is to um, read. I read a lot and learn a lot and also surround myself with the people that are also pursuing health, uh, pursuing to help others in their health and, um, and just having that positive influence, that positive energy that um, that lifts people up. And that's so important for you to have and for you to give to others because there's so many people out there that need that support, whether it be through their health or mentally or, or their spirit, they're just, you know, downcast. So um, I'm gonna show you a series of things that I use uh, in my own personal life. And by the way, the health update is to let you know that I am feeling so much better, so much better than than how I used to feel. Not that I don't get my little aches and pains here and there, um, but it has decreased significantly. And one of the first things I want to show you, and that's the first of about 20 things that I'm gonna show you, but um, uh, is that I started taking these food in capsule form and they're called Juice Plus. And basically it's fruits and vegetables in capsule form. And um, basically, even though I, I eat fruits and vegetables, it's not enough to support, you know, what I need in my body so that my body can function at its best to heal. So I started taking these alongside a healthy diet so that I can give my chance, my body a chance to um, heal because the body is designed to heal if you give it the right stuff. And then a couple months after that, I added the omegas. And the reason why I added the omegas was because a lot of times with fibromyalgia, you'll get brain fog or you know you tend to forget things or you have a hard time concentrating or um, getting organized and that's something that I was dealing with a lot and so I added the omegas and these are completely vegan they come from fruits and, and vegetables not they're plant-based um, and I have noticed a significant um, difference in the way I feel in my concentration my focus so juice plus is definitely something that you want to look at if you're not someone that eats a lot of fruits and vegetables in your diet um, so that's something I recommend for everyone and um, so if you want more information about that I have a link I am a personal use um, 
for the company and I also distribute them for anyone who would like to try them out. Um, and so another thing aside from the Juice Plus, sometimes if I'm feeling a little down or if it's raining outside and I'm, I'm not feeling that I'm getting enough vitamin D, I'll add, I'll take extra vitamin D. Aside from what you get with the Juice Plus, I still like to have extra because I feel like I need more than, than the normal individual. Um, and you know, low um, vitamin D is related to depression. And so I deal sometimes with depression. So I like to keep this around and I have it handy for those days when I'm feeling a little down, when, when it's not raining and it, I mean, when it's raining and I'm feeling um, just kind of sluggish a little bit. So another thing that I take, especially if I eat meat or um, like heavy foods, is I'll take a digestive enzyme before my meals. And so what this does, it helps me digest my food um, easier so that my body's not having to work harder to create those, um, you know, to digest my food. So if I'm helping my body uh, function better, then my body's using up that extra energy to heal. So that's my reasoning behind using digestive enzymes. And also, I feel like ever since I've been taking digestive enzymes, which I have to thank a friend of mine, her name is Cheryl, um, she got me started on digestive enzymes, and it's great because I feel like I've been able to keep my weight down. So it's something that helps you um, digest your food so your food's not sitting there and your fat's not sticking to your hips that's my story and so i have another one i am an elementary school teacher and we get very very tired we have long days a lot of work mentally and physically and so i take uh b12 also additionally to the other stuff that i take especially usually on weekdays um, because I know I'm going to need the extra energy to be, you know, present for my kids, for my students, and to have the energy to make it through the entire day. Because a lot of times when you have chronic fatigue, you, by the time 2 p.m. comes, you're exhausted. All you want to see is bed. And a lot of times I come home from work and I go straight to bed because I'm exhausted. And this helps me make it through the day. So B12 is great um, to give me the energy that I need. And many of you have probably been wondering what this 47 year old mama does to keep her hair full and fluffy and clogging the, the, <laughs> the plumbing in the bathroom. And this is something I take maybe twice or three times a week. It's hair, skin, and nails. And um, it just keeps, um, it keeps my hair and my skin and my nails healthy. And again, that's something that the Juice Plus does, but I like to have extra. Um, just, you know, for those days when I feel like I'm losing too much hair or my skin is looking kind of dull, um, I like to have this. So I take that as well. And um, let's see, another thing that I do is I like to do teas. And about at once, every other month, I'll take liver cleansing tea. And that helps to just kind of flush any toxins that um, are still in my body. Um, I just, again, trying to help my body function at its best so that I can have the opportunity to heal. Um, I also, I love this, the chamomile and anise tea. Um, I take it at night and, you know, a couple days ago, I had this with ginger um, from my backyard. I also have powdered ginger that I can use also, but I like to use the one from my garden. <clears throat> and so the other night I was having, I had a couple of days where my, my joints were aching. It was raining. It's been raining outside. And, um, I took a chamomile tea with ginger and lemon, and then I think it had mint in it as well. Yeah, I put some mint in there, and um, I woke up the next morning, and I had so much energy, and I had no joint pain. I had no bone pain. I felt great, and I was uh, telling a friend of mine, wow, what a difference that ginger tea made for me. I'm going to have to keep doing it because... 
you know, if it works for you, keep doing it because, you know, what may work for one person with autoimmune disease may not work for another. So just try different things and what works for you, keep doing it. This is another one I like to take when I'm feeling a little down and low energy. It's called positive energy and it's, um, it enhances, let me see if you can read it. It supports elevated mood and energy levels. I just read that backwards. Looky there. Those omegas are working. And it tastes good and it just kind of gives you that that um, that little boost of energy. And I can t I'll take anything that'll give me energy. Um, as a teacher and as a mom and as a wife and as all those things, you need lots of energy. Um, another thing that I read about and you may have heard of is Moringa. I used to have these in caplet form, but I ran out. But I love taking Moringa because um, I think I got this from a friend. I think this was a gift from a friend or maybe I bought it. Well, it has a Ross sticker, so maybe I found it at Ross. Anyways, um, Moringa, they call it the miracle tree and it helps heal the body uh, of different ailments. So I put some of this in maybe a fruit smoothie or maybe a, a warm tea. I'll put a tablespoon of Moringa and um, it's supposed to also give energy. It says nutrient dense, non-GMO. Uh, anyway, read up about it. It's the miracle tree. I think there's even documentaries out there about Moringa. So if that's something you want to try out. Um, and like I said, in my search of healing, I've come across so many things. And when you don't feel good, you will try anything, right? So that you can feel better. And if it's natural, that's even better. Uh, another thing that I heard is very good for arthritis, for joints, uh, for joint pain is bone broth. So this is something that I put in my foods or I put in a little bit in a smoothie um, and it's supposed to help your, um, okay, what does it say? Oh, collagen. Oh, someone was asking me, how do I stay young? It must be the bone broth. This is it right here. Uh, and of course, I just was. Um, turmeric, ginger, and cinnamon I use in a, um, in a special recipe that I make with coconut milk and vanilla, and it tastes delicious. I'm going to make a video on that because I think I made a video on Facebook, but I don't think I've made one on YouTube of my warm ginger milk, and it tastes spicy. It tastes Christmassy, and I love it, and it makes it just warms my, my bones and my joints. It makes me feel better. So anything that will soothe your pain, right, for those of us who deal with, with chronic pain um, will, will do. Um, so what else? What, I wanted to talk to you about exercise. I am not a gym person. I don't like going to the gym. Just the thought of going to the gym hurts my bones. But I have noticed that when I walk and when I cycle, I feel better. The days that I, that I keep my body moving, I feel better than the days that I stay in bed watching Netflix. And nothing against Netflix. I watch Netflix almost every day. Um, but you have to get your body moving at least, even if it's just half hour in the morning, just to get your body started. Um, when I'm at work with my students, when I give them their brain breaks, I do the brain breaks with them. If we're doing up, you know, and clapping and you see me exercising with them because I take advantage of those times when I'm, exer when I'm getting their energy out and I'll just do it with them. And, and I stretch and um, they love it. They're like, look at Miss Hawkins, she's doing it too. And you know, I'm doing it for my health and for them, of course. Um, now, if you're not into walking or cycling, you can do, uh, especially now in the summer when it's hot, you can do swimming, you can do diving, snorkeling, anything. Just find a hobby that involves exercise and, and and commit to it and do it. And you're gonna feel better. You're gonna get your vitamin D, you're gonna get your movement and um, you're gonna detox your body and feel better. So um, another part of healing is your mind. Remember it's mind, body, and spirit. Your mind needs to be in a place where you're feeding it with goodness. And the way you feed your mind with goodness is 
reading, you know, read encouraging books, um, fill your mind with positivity. Um, what I've done in my Facebook, I've deleted anything and everything that has to do with the news, that has to do with negativity, that has to do with gossip, that has to do with complaining and whining and um, this person hurt me and I hate this and all that stuff I've gotten away with. And it, sometimes it sneaks in and I just, oops, goodbye, unfollow, delete, no, you know, just don't um, allow yourself to be trapped in that because especially people who are empath like myself, we pick up on all those negative things and it, it will affect your mind, your emotions, your health. And right now you need to focus on healing your body and that is going to require you to set boundaries. Um, and, and that includes what you watch. So, um, fill your mind with positive things. I have so many positive pages on my Facebook and on my Instagram and positive friends and people who just want to lift you up and just surround yourself with those people. And that doesn't mean don't help those who, who are down, but don't, don't hang in there. You know, don't hang around that. Just help and remove yourself and go back to your happy place, okay? Um, I am a woman of faith and I have faith in God and other people have other faith. Uh, but I do believe that at times, um, many times, I just, I pray and I meditate and I do guided meditations. Um, and I do whatever it is that I need to do to be in that place of peace and to be in that place of harmony so that my body can heal. Um, so that's about it. I think that's um, what I have in terms of what I'm doing right now to feel better. Um, and I hope that this video helps you. If you have any questions about anything that I do or if you have something else that you um, want to suggest, I'm open for that. And I would love for you to subscribe and like my videos. And please let me know when you're feeling better or when you're not. Um, and, um, we're getting the, through this together and that's it. It's going to be all good. No matter what we get to have one more day of life. Um, and we're going to make the best of it. So follow your dreams. You are loved. Besitos. Have a great day.